last Yaman series, we touched down, started our foodie journey at a tea house, and bought a bunch of tea supply. Tried this spiky fruit called Kiwana, explored the fish market, and saw everything with legs too, with spots too, no spots too, everything. <laughs> um, red flower crab, mantis shrimp, and famous ginger dove for dinner. Tried roasted sugar cane juice. Continued onwards to try seafood tea clay pot noodle. Then explored Zhongshan Lu and bought a bunch of freshly made nougats. Today, we will be embarking on a tour to multiple Tulos. One of them is most famously known by the live action remake of Mulan. Because the Tulos are a little outside Xiamen, we decided to join a local day tour which would explain and cover multiple Tulos. I'll tell you what a Tulo means afterwards. Um, the bus was really spacious, clean, and the chairs were reclinable. I don't actually remember how long the journey was because I basically just napped the entire way. But I did wake up for the bathroom and snack break halfway. Um, and their snacks here are like something else. The common highway snacks I am used to are usually potato chips, sandwiches, or salads, or even like a sausage. But they have everything from chicken wings, dried fish, duck legs, to preserved eggs here. I wanted to try everything, but I was so sleepy. Um, my stomach was just not awake yet. That's all right. When we arrived at the Tulo, we switched our guide for a specialist Tulo guide who is a local and still resides in these unique structures. This is to ensure that we support them by generating income to preserve their heritage. So I'll just get into a little bit of what this Tulo means because I've been mentioning Tulo, Tulo, Tulo and you're, you must be thinking like what in the world girl is Tulo? Um, so they are basically these fascinating round earthen communal homes built by the Hakka people in China and they are believed to be descendants of the Han Chinese who migrated south to escape war and to defend themselves they built these um, round shape and fortified structures called the Tulo. And these structures enabled them to collectively defend and protect themselves from invaders and warlords. And it usually houses multiple families within a single structure and the resources are shared among the families. residents today mostly have something to do with tourism either as tour guides restaurants catering to tourists tulo homestays and some still cultivate the land and sell their produce traditionally hakka people were farmers um, a lot of the younger generations have moved away to larger cities leaving the tulos uninhabited 
and hence converted into museums. This is a spot where you can get your photo taken from above to capture the entire structure. They have this pulley system to transport your printed photos. It is honestly a truly magical experience. It's almost like stepping back into time and offering like a glimpse into people's lives who built them centuries ago. And also seeing how the communal lifestyle is, it's such an eye-opener, especially coming from a city where lives are more isolated. This is definitely really interesting to see. There are a lot of tobacco sold in the Tulos. I heard that there's even a tobacco field where you can learn the industry and even collect tobacco leaves. It was also so interesting to see some traditional tools still being used today like this pot right here and this outfit. I think, I don't know what this is, but it's like a jacket or something. Um, yeah, and this hat and fans and, and just paper fans and so on. It's just so cool. See how the, the bikes actually have um, roofs. Really cool. It's like such a, like a new sight to see because I've never seen anything like it. But it's actually so interesting to see. And it's like so beautiful here. Um, so they were saying that they need to protect themselves in these circle type structures and there are actually no windows down here so that nobody can actually climb and the windows start like out there and that's the only entrance in and out um, so it's pretty safe I guess. You can actually come here and like get some clothes. Looks super nice. By the way, do you know Big Fish in Begonia is also based at the Tulo and these are the statues of it? Then we went to a bunch of other tulos and here are the things that we saw.
they all got their own kingdom. <laughs> this robot sends slippers, extra towels, and so on, and even knows how to take the elevator on its own. It's so cute. After dropping the things we bought during our day tour, we'll head out to Zhongshan Lu again to look for dinner. It would be really encouraging if you hit like on this video and subscribe to explore the Nan Putuo temple dating back to 618 AD and to Gulangyu, which is a pedestrian-only island off the coast of Xiamen. It's a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site and you'll find out why in the next episode. Bye!